This video is on nucleophilic substitution. It is a basic guide of the mechanism. It focuses on SN1, which is unimolecular nucleophilic substitution. This is a reaction between 2 bromo, 2 metapropane, and aqueous sodium hydroxide. In SN2, this is the mechanism and it's a single step reaction. It is the simultaneous breaking of the CX and the formation of the CO bonds. This is the mechanism of SN1. It shows that the CX bond breaks first before forming the CO bond. First, draw the structure of the alkyl halide. The CX bond is polar, with a delta plus on carbon and a delta minus on X. The CX bond breaks hectolytically. This forms a carbocation intermediate. This step is a slow step because it is essentially a bond breaking step. Bond breaking requires energy, hence the activation energy of this step is larger. In the second step, the carbocation reacts with the nucleophile. This step forms the product. This step is fast because it is essentially a bond formation step and the activation energy is lower. Unlike SN2, we do not draw the product to show the inversion. This is because the carbocation intermediate is planar. The nucleophile can attack above or below the plane of the intermediate. If the attack occurs above the plane, it forms the inverted 3D structure of the reactant. This direction is opposite side to which X has left. If the attack occurs below the plane, it forms the original 3D structure of the reactant. This direction is the same side to which X has left. Hence, we do not care about the drawing of the inverted product. SN1 mechanism occurs when the stable carbocation can be formed. When there are three alkyl groups around the carbon cation, the alkyl groups donate electron density to stabilize the carbon cation. The above list are some examples of stable carbon cation. This is stable because the positive charge is delocalized into the carbon double bond C. This is stable because the positive charge is delocalized into benzene ring. The delocalization occurs because of the overlapping of these carbon's p orbitals. A second reason to let us know that SN1 occurs is the rate of reaction is dependent on the concentration of alkyl halide only. while the rate of reaction is independent on the concentration of the nucleophile. Replay this video if it's needed.